are under attack. Stalkers are depths. Uh, Phoenix Void Rays. Want... No, not that. No, no, no. Um, I was going to say, I'm like, I need the one that allows me to upgrade the Void Rays. I guess I just have to build a couple of things. Like these. And figure out which ones has it. One of these bastards have it. Okay, go back to your little crystals. Alright. So they've pretty much wiped out several of my locations. Come back down here, yeah? I'm gonna need all my people down here with me. I'm not so worried about... Oh, that was timing. I can run for it. If you can even get out. Um, I'm not so worried about them attacking these. I've got a lot of the resources from up here, yeah? What I am concerned about is not being able to use what I've got um, to try to, like, fucking destroy them. That's more so what I'm fucking concerned about not having enough of. Alright. That. Um, yeah, alright. I need two more in this one. My uh, number of people has gone down massively. Oh, wow. Alright. Alright. You are on home turf. If you guys can come back, retreat inwards a little bit. Let them come to me bit by bit, and I will take them out as they approach. Oh, so you fucking go down that way. All right. Just sit here for a second. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. These big ass things, whatever the fuck this thing is, is absolutely decimating me. For all the resources that I have stolen... Apparently, it is just not enough. Probably not enough to survive this. I mean, I could back back again. I could rebuild some more stuff. I just don't think it's going to matter. Even if I get something out, whatever these things are, are really, really tank. Are these things still making? No. No. Um, this thing's shielding itself. Can I shield a building singularly? That's not what that does, does it? Hmm. I could boost that for like the last couple of seconds of its building. Alright, well, there's a fair chance that this is going to kill me. How about I go and just send somebody up into your house and see how you feel about that, yeah? <laughs> this is like the ultimate. You come into my home and you destroy it. I'll send somebody in to just like... Ah, oh, didn't even make it. Damn it. I was hoping to be able to walk into their base, like stroll into their base and just like slap something. What is that? I've never seen that thing before. I wish I could click on the units and let me see what it is. Yeah, at this point, yes, I could move my people. I could probably move them all the way up there. They'd probably be safe. I could probably rebuild. But the fact of the matter is I'm probably not going to win this, regardless of how I play it. Seeing that they've automatically got three to begin with is more of a problem. The hell is that shining down for? I'll tell you what, though. It's interesting, though. Even if I'm doing all right, like, this is against hard. I do wonder if I hadn't been separated from my ally, would this have been as bad? This is interesting that even in a singular scenario with an ally, I can still be absolutely wiped out. Mind you, if I protected my ally more, maybe would have survived. But I couldn't predict that purple was never going to attack me. If I had have known purple was never going to actually launch an attack, I probably very likely could have just been like, okay, well, I'll just go help my ally non-stop. It'll be fine. Alright. So I already know that's going to fucking reveal me in 15 seconds. There's not much point in waiting for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so... In my hand is really, um, my joints are really stiff today. I don't really know what that's about, but everything just feels like it's, like, um, not moved enough. Let's try. Did I do that one? Go back. Take the picture back. I don't think I did that one. I don't think I did that one. Thank you for the stretch, Mirthless. I will stretch. Hold on. Yeah, everything is like all of my joints feel like they've got pressure in them today. I don't know if it's like some kind of atmospheric thing. Ah, uh, that felt amazing. I actually did like a really good fucking back stretch then. 
I've never done that before. I managed to like roll my shoulders over the back somehow. Felt great. That's all that's all I know is it felt pretty good. Alright, let's take away that. So I'm gonna try this again as hard again. Because obviously this is at the level where it stumped me. My only thing is that if we end up together, I think I have the advantage there. But if we end up separated again, it'd be a real question of if I can do better. Because if I can't do better, then at the moment my maximum play level is hard. Oh shit, I almost missed that. Fuck, that would have been a surprise for later. It would have been like, oh, I'm attacking yellow or I'm attacking purple. And it's like the other one just comes in and just fucking bitch slaps me out of the game. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know you guys were allies. It's one of those, oh, I didn't know you guys were together moments. I have a bit of my drink while we're loading in. It gives me like a hot second to fucking do something. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but um, I'll be eating the spoon of Vegemite at the start of tomorrow's stream, by the way. Um, Since we hit that goal. So you guys won't obviously be able to see me, but you'll be able to hear my reactions and Nick and Grimm's reactions to me eating it. I'll be at the start of the seven day stream, probably doing the just chatting segment, most likely. Um, yeah, should be, should be interesting. I'll try to remember to take a fucking photo before I start of the actual like Vegemite portion that I'm taking, going to be eating. All right, I am next to my allies this time. Nice. That is a benefit. But yeah, that should be kind of interesting. I said I wasn't like expecting any of the goals to get reached, but now that that one has been reached, it will be happening tomorrow. I think if I end up getting the fucking prime energy drinks reached, I'll end up just drinking them throughout the month. Like, see what is available in the area and I'll buy them and then um, I'll try them out for the month. That's gonna suck if I don't like them. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, I'm stuck with them now. Um. I don't even know what they sell around here. I've just seen them on sale a couple times. Um, I am starting to compile lists for a fucking movie night just in case that happens, though. I just need to check what fucking movies I've got. Because um, I thought I had one and I can't find it. And I wanted it to be on the list, so yeah, that'll be interesting. But there'll be a private event in Discord if that's reached at all. Um, it would just be like something that happens. That um, only only Discord members can see and get access to. So basically, that's an incentive for everybody that regularly watches me to just fucking get into Discord. Um, if you haven't already. It's a pretty nice place. I haven't done a movie night before. And at this rate, who knows if it will be reached. But I'm planning for it in case it does. Alright, so you guys all done that. Let's get you back on there. Got a couple of pylons, not many, but it's a couple. It's enough to get these two started. Um, well, they're actually right here. Like, I get that they're there, but they're right here, you know? Hey! Wait! Get the fuck out of my base! Oh man, my poor allies are having to take the slack because I took too long to get a start on my build. Alright, you. Start making some zealots. Let's get you boosted. Let's get you faster. I wish I could double boost this, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Alright. I'll try to help, man. I'll fucking try to help. Just give me time. Give me time. Don't you come near my shit, you. I told your wife about um, your commitment to eat a spoonful of Vegemite. Her response was, you. Well, the funny thing is, as an Australian, like, it shouldn't be that bad because, like, I eat it. I, I, I eat it. I'm not one of the Australians that don't like it. I do like Vegemite, but I've never eaten just a fucking spoonful. Then every time I've ever watched any American or anybody from anywhere else in the world eat Vegemite, they always go for, like, a hard fucking spoonful. And I'm like, you just don't eat that much. And so I'm like, I kind of want to – I put it on there for, like – more of the novelty that a lot of people around the world that can't get access to it or haven't tried it usually enjoy like the reactions and stuff like it would be better if I could like show it but I don't want to be on camera 
But, um, yeah, as, as far as I can tell, it's still going to be an effort to eat it that way. Um, either way, like, funniest thing is, like, I know Nick hates Vegemite. Um, so he already doesn't think much of it. So he's going to watch me eating a spoonful of it with a strong opinion about it anyway. I don't know if Grim eats it or not. I don't actually know. Um, but... I know he's going to, Grim and Nick are going to see the reaction and they'll be able to comment. They'll be able to say stuff. Um, what the fuck is going on down here? How long have I known Grim? Um, probably since either 2018 or th 2019, somewhere around then. But I used to play Seven Days to Die for about 18 hours a day. Um like constantly just playing with, uh, the game with Grim for like 18 hours a day every day for fucking years. So I've spent a great amount of hours um, just talking with Grim. <laughs> What's the ouch for? <laughs> I, I've played the fuck out of um, seven days. I won't be able to kill these floaty bastards. That is a long time, yeah. It's one of those things where sometimes the years don't add up to the sheer amount of hours. Like, the amount of hours that I've spent actively getting to know Grimm over the years is more than probably some people's, like, families and friends generally do. Um, like, even over, like, even close-knit families probably don't even, like, spend that much time together. But, yeah. It was actually just a common interest that we had. It was one of the few games that we both had. As soon as this can go, I'm going to take it. Um, this must have been a lot of fun. It's definitely interesting. Um, Grim used to rage a lot more with Seven Days. It used to frustrate him a lot more than it does now. He's definitely a lot more chill about because Because um, he used to have to take long breaks um, when the game was just being like frustrating. As we all know, it can be. Um, but yeah. What are you guys doing up there attacking them? Oh, the red looks nice. It's like jewels. Um, yeah, no, we used to, um, we'd, we'd play it for fucking hours, but yeah, every so often he'd just, um, it'd be too much and it'd just take a break. I'd see him in like a couple of days time or something like that. But mind you, we'd been playing it like very consistently, excessively consistently. So it's not like... Not like we really had much downtime between it. Um, I probably should make a couple more buildings. What are you doing building that in my base, mate? Blue looks okay. Not as nice as like red, though. That there. But yeah, unfortunately, Seven Days was one of the few games that we both had. Um, we really didn't have many. We ended up with Warzone. 2 was one of the few other games that we both had. So we played the shit out of that when that came out. Um, I don't know if we have anything else that we both play. Most of the games that we play, even though we've got the same games, they're single player. So it makes it very hard to interact and play because it's like we're literally playing on our own separate games. So it's not the same. Like obviously RimWorld, you can mod it to play as multiplayer and stuff, but we also have very different game styles. So we have very different game styles and like everything anyway. So um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the most practical way to play it. You guys are meditating so much. Apparently what do I need for the um, stalkers subnetics core. That's what I need. Am I making that? Yes. Yes, I am. You can go in there. Nobody's using that yet. I kind of forgot that these things exist and I'm going to need them pretty soon. I just wish that my allies would kind of stop building their pylons in it. Well, what the fuck are you doing up there? Like, yeah, they're individual, but holy shit, mate. Calm your tits. Like, we'll be up there in a moment. Holy shit. Um, fucking hell. Mineral field depleted. Ugh. Oh. Actually, you know, the other funny thing, too, is for all the fucking years that I've known Grim, um, we've never fucking once met in person. Um, and it was only up until about this year, 
I think it was, before we even saw what the fuck each other looked like. Um, just because that kind of shit's just not important. At least not to us, it isn't. Um, so yeah, we just fucking hang out for hours talking completely with somebody that we've never even fucking visually seen. Four. I don't want four on that. I want three. You can set up three for that one too. Oh, there's one of these things back here. The internet is strange. Well, to be fair, like I knew, I knew Grimm's roommate. So, um, that's more so like why I trusted who he was. Otherwise I would be like, I probably wouldn't have fucking, um, I probably wouldn't have, I don't know. I probably wouldn't have ended up friends with him just cause like we wouldn't have had a connecting, uh, person between us would have just been complete strangers. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, fucking, I never find seeing people as an important fact to playing games. As long as you enjoy playing games with somebody, it doesn't fucking matter. It does not fucking matter. It's also part of why, like, I don't have a camera as well. And why I choose to represent myself as an avatar. Um, I'm quite comfortable representing as this, apart from the fact that I do just fucking align as like my life is basically a drama anime anyway. Um, like I just don't see it's important to have fucking face. Like I know you've just got a camera. I'm not fucking ripping on that. But like for me, it's, it's never going to be a part of my channel. Um, just cause it's not part of like anything that I've ever found to be personally important for me. And I know your camera was a gift. So that's a completely different scenario. Receiving a gift and using it is completely different than um, choosing to like add something uh, because like you've researched into it and you've specifically wanted that thing. I was going to take that, you prick. Oh, fuck you, mate. Fuck you, yeah? This is going to be mine anyway. I'm, I'm going to fucking sit behind you and steal your shit. As soon as you've built that, I'm going to take the geysers as well. Yep, these are going to be mine. Fuck you. Fuck you and your little base. Just because I took this awesome one back here, which, by the way, I need more people on. <laughs> the, my ally. My ally is actually pissing me off a little bit because they're, like, in up in my shit, like, nonstop at the moment. And I'm not getting a chance to, like, put stuff where I want. Like, literally, look at my base. Like... Where am I supposed to be building shit in amongst their pylons? Because these are all their pylons. These are mine. Right? These green glowy ones, they're mine. Those ones aren't. If they keep building... Can I click off that, please? Just click on something else. Yeah, holy shit. Let me click on something else. There we go. Mate, I'm, I'm just clicking on you. Don't fucking get personal about it. All right? Not like that. Um, you guys can move up. I remember using this map actually last time. We ended up getting them funneled in. Why are you up there? I'm so confused. You know what? Let's, let's go join them. Let's go have fun with this. I don't know what the fuck they think they're doing. This is mine now, by the way. Yeah, you, you can put your people all up in front there, but this is mine. Officially, it belongs to me. These definitely belong to me. You can't have them. So, yeah, deal with that. Um, I need my little... I need my floaty guys. You come here. Let's get some floaty guys in here. I'm probably not going to have enough time to build any, but I'll build a couple. I'll build two of those. I'm going to set them up to go up to red when they're done. I don't know if I set both of them to go up there, but it should be fine. Okay, some more of you guys. Head on up. Maybe, mate. I just maybe will. How's about we get rid of this? God damn. You know, the funny thing is, like, I do respond to these people, like, talking all the time as if they're, like, legitimately saying something. And I'm like, I have so much fucking wrath for some of their questions. You chase that one down. You just stalk that one, yeah? You guys are stalkers, right? That's what you're called? Yeah, you're a stalker. That's fine. You're doing your job. They're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. It's fun that way. It is. Um, 
going to get my ass up in here and I'm going to take down your pylon. I'm going to take down your other pylon. That way you can't be building nothing. Well, you can be building some stuff. There is pylons around. Those ones at the back aren't really a problem. That one might be. All right. They're all down. <laughs> Disabled. Fuck you. Um, let's go get that. Um, I'm going to take these guys down here. I'm sure we can do a better job of getting rid of these guys. Pretty much once the base is put into set disabled, like this, I, I don't really have to worry about what I'm attacking. Once they've taken down these pylons, I'll take these guys back over. Alright, you guys come with me. You can get in here and do some sneakies. You guys could be doing more sneakies, maybe. Like, attack those ones. Yeah. Alright. This is a surprisingly different outcome, and I'm kind of surprised that there was nothing over here. Like, I might actually use my Void Rays when I get them. My, um, floaty guys, these guys. Right, once those get built, I'll make a couple. And I just want to... I don't want that many. Just got to find out... I'm going to fly them around and find out what's around. Um, head down there. And I'll tell you what, one of you stay here, you can go over up here, I reckon there'll be people around. You head up there, there's obviously somebody here. So I've got this area taken care of and I'm going to set one of you over here. Red is surrendering, okay cool. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was me together, so I'm going to make it that one of my enemies can join together with another one and see how that goes. Going to go onto a small map. That looks kind of cool. Okay, create a lobby with that. Oh, actually, if I do four, it would be two, two, won't it? Fuck it. I'll give it a go. Um... It can only go so absolutely horrifically bad. I don't actually need to change that. That can just be a melee as it was. Um, two for two. This could be absolutely dreadful. I'm going to make you red so I don't mix you up with my own blue. All right. So we're all set to hard. I've got two enemies. I've only got one ally. I'm going to have to actually help my ally. And I'm going to have to not be too greedy with resources. And if they come to attack, we could really be quite fucked. Um, because I kind of have to keep up with them. So let's try. Let's try something different and see how I go. This could be really fucking difficult. This could be a super quick battle. Or it could be fucking long. Like one of the longest ones I've had is a couple of hours. Uh, when I used to play it casually. And that was like an eight person game or some shit. I can hold my headset keeps kind of like squiggling off the back of my head. I had a piece of material sitting above my head, but it's not sitting right. It's supposed to be trying to prevent it from um, sliding around and um, uh, what do you call it? It was giving me ear pain when it was moving around too much. I do now. I build it. God, everything looks so gold on this one. All right, go back to minerals. I desperately need the minerals. Actually, you can go back to a pylon now. Pylon, go back. Gonna need an extra person built for that. Two people when I can afford it. Three people. Okay, cool. All right, as soon as I can afford it, I'm gonna get one of these guys in. Actually try to take this one kind of like semi-seriously in the speed direction of it. All right, there we go. I could have this person literally just sitting out here waiting to go. Uh, that is something I could be doing. But I didn't. I could have. Okay, so we've got third person's getting built there. I don't have enough minerals getting made. Um, Alright, another three for there. Don't you worry about them minerals. I'll have them fucking soon enough. As soon as I can forward another pylon, I will get it. There it is. Okay, got that. Back you go. Alright, once this is done, I wonder if can I boost myself? Yes, I can. Alright, let's fucking get this cooking, yeah? How many do I need? I need three extra to be going out onto the crystals at the moment. So once you're done, 
Okay, off you go to that. Let's get a couple of zealots. How much are these anyway? 100. Okay, so I can at least afford two. How's my ally going? They're the squishy one. I'll never fucking know. I can never fucking tell what they're doing. Ever. <laughs> they're pulsating, spitting, fucking gooing and spreading. That's all I fucking know what they're doing. It's pretty consistent, but I don't understand it. <laughs> then you've got this group, and I guess they're trying to find the second one, which should be, like, here. Um, look, my fucking descriptions of StarCraft, <laughs> or at least of Zergs, is kind of like, it's not really wrong, realistically. It is still accurate. I'm going to make that still. I do want a second one of these, though. Like, if I did understand it, I could honestly tell you what was going on. I'd be like, oh yeah, this is happening, and I need to be keeping up with that. But I don't fucking know. To my best ability, I know Protoss. I kind of can roughly tell what's going on with Terran, but Zerg. Zerg is like the ultimate defense against me, because I've got zero fucking clue. Like, these things, these things look like the things that are supposed to be doing that, but they attack. Like, I just feel like they're supposed to be mining. I know that they're different, but, like, I feel like they're supposed to be mining. I should be able to make stalkers soon. I should almost have the... Um... Vespian stuff for that, I'm pretty sure. That's why I need the cybernetic stuff, is I need it for the, um, stalkers. Alright. Let's get a few of them. Additional pylons, alright. Hold up, that's gonna fucking slow us right down. Um... Shut up, mate. Look, slap it there. It will do for 30 seconds. I will have a second one in a minute. What do you know? 30 seconds to a minute. That's the thing. It happened. You all saw it right here live. Fucking don't know where else you can find it live, but Aprilix channel has definitely got it. <laughs> I have always said my, my fucking streams get weird when I'm tired. It's pretty funny. The tireder I get, the weirder my shit is. Alright, I should be boosting those. Alright, they are already at the maximum. I could probably try to take probably that place or this place. Weird is good. That is that is good to know. Because I, I definitely fucking take it to the weird extremes. Um, Some of my most fucking hilarious streams have been when I've been like borderline sleep deprived. And like in today's case, I'm not so much sleep deprived. I didn't sleep all day until like 7 or 8 p.m. when I was supposed to be like up and about, which was bad. But at the same time, like tonight, what the fuck was that? Tonight, after it's pretty much as soon as I'm finished editing, like I'm going to fucking speed run that shit. Um, as soon as I'm done with that, I'm fucking getting ready and going to bed. I don't care if I lay in bed and watch something, that's perfectly fine, but so long as I'm already there so that I can start winding down and get tired. Because I ended up I ended up working on stuff until basically almost midday today. Um there was just like little extra stuff like um uh there was a few extra like panels and stuff like that that I forgot to like fix up to make sure that uh Trianthus logo is always gonna be on screen for at least two weeks. Um as per the uh, the sub bombs that he graciously did. Um, also, if anybody hasn't seen it, the um, mech that he's got in um, General Games Channel is so amazing looking. It looks so beautiful. It's like this really nice deep red and black kind of thing, and it's just like this kind of like deep chromey kind of thing. Looks really awesome. He he's pretty much down to fucking challenge anybody with it. That's Armored Core, I believe. All right, let's get over there. What the fuck are these things? I'll never know. It won't let me click on them. Yeah, I'll get to them pylons in a moment. Look, trust me on this one. I probably have enough space at the moment after those people dying. Why do you guys look like you're yellow? Okay, let's get some fucking pylons. So I can't fit it in the front. Let's fit it around the back. Uh, there to there. Um, I mean, I do try to, like, work on the fair bit of stuff as well. Um... I don't know. I just always have worked this way, even when I was like in like formally employed by companies. Um, so it's just kind of habitual behavior, I guess, to be like this. But yeah, I am still trying to work on like having more time for me to like 
uh, have downtime and just like relax and stuff like that. But I also am trying to fit in time to learn. So like I was learning some stuff this morning about some 